Well, really, it's the most successful combined city region in the country. I think by common consent, though nobody likes to say it publicly, it's really got the best council infrastructure model in the country. It's the most developed city council stroke city region, and it's the one that has the greatest capacity to deliver the greatest amount of good for the widest possible number of its citizens. So it's really, it's really best positioned and we can fast track with Manchester because Manchester essentially has the capacity, has the vision and it's prepared to dream and act big. Brilliant. So what advantages could it bring and can you give any examples of those? I think the great advantage that um, could be got from city-wide and city-region devolution is completely changing the outcomes of people in the region in terms of health, skills, education. Because what's, ha what's clear is actually in terms of skills and productivity, uh, people uh, in Manchester are below both national averages and European averages. And that's because we've got different parts of the public sector fighting with other parts of the public sector. With all the overhead, all the conflict, there's over a thousand different funding lines coming into uh, Manchester City region and they all waste loads of money with each level of bureaucracy and they all fight with one another. If, for instance, we were able to devolve full budgetary powers, rebase our budgets, that is saying, gosh, what's the most important thing? And you could say, well, in this part of the city region, we need to look at skills and get helping people get into work. In the other part of the city region, we need to look at health, perhaps and specifically mental health. It enables us to reprioritize and properly address problems. And the savings from this can be in the millions. On a national basis, um, Deloitte uh, argued that it could save between nine to 15 billion a year. And imagine if we were actually on, you know, Greater Manchester spends 22.5 billion a year in the Greater Manchester region. Imagine if we were able to stop wasting that money with bureaucracy, drive it down to people, imagine the type of outcomes that we could create. Higher levels of skills, better levels of health, move hundreds and hundreds and yay, thousands and thousands of people from welfare into work. Nobody uh, has an appetite for more levels of bureaucracy, least of all me. Every level of bureaucracy that you have costs you 30% of your frontline budget. So what we're not arguing for is another level of useless bureaucracy. What we're arguing for is a very effective unitary authority that can actually deliver what's needed. And so we think if actually the combined authority gets the powers we're arguing for, we believe that it needs a directly accountable democratic model because we at ResPublica believe that we need to devolve not power, but that must include taxes and local taxes. So it must include property taxes. So for instance, if Manchester thinks we need to encourage, for instance, the return of the clothing industry, it needs to be able to say, we're not going to charge you business rates for five years to kickstart that industry. And it also, I believe, needs to be able to vary your local income tax rate. Imagine how we could grow the Northwest if actually, if you lived in Manchester, you could pay a lower amount of income tax. It's these sorts of ideas that would enable us to create, and if you forgive the, the word, the right ecosystem to grow the whole of uh, the Manchester city region and indeed the whole of the Northwest. Without this, the great northern cities that, that fired the Industrial Revolution are going to be permanently left behind. And all of our talent and all of our brilliant young people then have to leave these northern cities to work in London, which is no good for them because they're paying through the nose for decades on decades for rent. Um, and it's no good for our business uh, world because if you can only make it in Liverpool, sorry, if you can only make it in London and can't make it in Liverpool or Manchester, then we've essentially abandoned the northern regions. And that's not acceptable. Is there any danger of devolved regions being dominated by big cities? There is a danger of devolved regions being dominated by big cities. That's why we at ResPublica are just saying city regions are, are what we pilot first. Let's just do city regions first because they're the ones that are capable. But I don't think for a moment that shouldn't include 
in the future devolutionary powers for county councils. We need powers that go beyond city regions, but for now, the quickest route to showing this works is actually city regions. And the city region that is the most advanced is Manchester. And Manchester dreams big and wants to be big, and this is the next big idea to really turn around the fortunes of the Northwest. How critical is devolution to improving the local economy? Without devolution, we're not going to turn around Manchester's local economy or the social and economic outcomes for people who live here. Currently, Manchester spends 22.5 billion and it only takes just over 17 billion in taxes. There's roughly a 5 billion gap, a 5 billion deficit for Manchester. But if Manchester had all the powers we're arguing for, I believe, and indeed the combined authority believes, that it could close that gap and actually raise and grow an extra five billion over the lifetime of a parliament and become in five years a net contributor to the public exchequer. And imagine Manchester's economy five billion times in terms of the money it will generate bigger. That would be better for everybody. I think, most importantly, devolved organisations like the city region should have the power to control all public expenditure in their area. So I'm talking health, I'm talking schools, I'm talking transport, I'm talking police, I'm talking uh, ambulances, I'm talking hospitals, I'm talking skills, I'm talking welfare. So it's that big. And only then, when we can actually create an authority that can actually deliver on, on the needs of the people in its area, can we create an area that works? Look, you and I both know, we all travel the country, the north looks abandoned compared to the south. You walk around the north, they've all got cities that are two or three times as big for their populations. Overnight, the streets look empty. This is terrible. We've got the, some of the best infrastructure uh, you can have and nobody lives here. Unless we can create the sort of authority that can make this an attractive place to live in, to flourish in, and for other people and businesses to base here, we've essentially abandoned the North. And I, for one, don't believe we should abandon the North. I want to restore the great industrial cities of the revolution. We need Northern city-states, and Manchester's the right place to start.